Hello everybody and welcome to Comic Time. I'm Rainbow Red Panda and this is Norton and this is all of the stuff that we got today at the comic book store, at least new comic book wise. Um, before we get into that I will show you one of the older books that I got today. I got Dazzler number one because the shop just got it and you can't just have this hanging up in your shop and not take it because how could you do that like that that's not acceptable to me so totally picked it up totally excited about it it's in really really awesome shape so I'm excited about it I'm gonna add it to my collection with all the other things that I have so that's my old thing that I got today and here's all of the new stuff um, there are some variants so you're gonna be seeing some some duplicates but it's okay my shop rarely gets variants and now like all of a sudden it's like variants all the time so I deal with it for now we have My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic number 19. Ta-da! We have Uncanny Avengers number 20. And this is the first book um, I've noticed this week that a lot of these books that I picked up are multiples of five, which makes me happy. And this is the first one, so number 20, Avenger, Uncanny Avengers awesomeness. And then this is the first variant of the day. We have the Uncanny Avengers variant edition of the same issue that I just showed you. This next one I have two variant covers for. I did not pick up the original cover. Um, one because my shop didn't put it on my pole. Probably because they knew that with two variants of this I didn't want it. But also I'm not attached enough to this book to get the original along with the variants. So I just took the variants. It is the Thanos Annual number one. This is one of the variant covers. And then this is the second one. So those are those. And if you picked up the original cover, then you know what it looks like. And if not, you can Google it. I'm sure it's on marvel.com. So check that out. Um, Jonathan Hickman's God is Dead, number 13. Which I'm excited to read that book. We have Wolverine, number 7. We have two of the three original Sin titles. We have... Avengers number 30, which is an original Sin tie-in, and multiple, also a multiple of five. And then this is the variant cover for the same, same book, different cover. And then we have Mighty Avengers number 10, also a multiple of five. I like this cover. I like this book. I'm excited. I'm not sure about it being an original Sin tie-in, but we'll see. We have Deadly Class number five. Which, if I had to have like a top four instead of a top three, this would be my number four. Next up, we have Guardians of the Galaxy number 15. This one is featuring Captain Marvel, and it'll be interesting to see what role she has to play in this Guardians of the Galaxy book. I know a lot of people who really, really like Guardians of the Galaxy, and I know one person in particular who hates Captain Marvel with every fiber in his being. So it'll be interesting to see how he feels about this book. Um, Kelly Sue DeConnick does not write this, and she writes Captain Marvel, so maybe he'll like it a little bit more since since Bendis is writing it and not her, but I'm sure that we will get the full the full lowdown soon, so I'll let you know when I know. And speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy, the prelude to the movie, um, the second issue of that is out, so I'm super excited about this. Guardians of the Galaxy is like the comic book movie that I've been waiting to see all year. Like, Spider-Man's out, and that's awesome. X-Men is out, that's awesome. Like, Thor came out, that was awesome. But Guardians is the one that I want to see all year. I've been waiting for it. All, since they announced it was a thing, I've been waiting to see it. So I'm super excited about it, and I'm, I'm excited to read, the, read all the things with it. Speaking of Spider-Man, giant-sized Spider-Man. It's a one-shot, so yeah, this is out. I feel like Marvel is milking comic fans, comic Spider-Man fans, for all of their money. Um, the movie came out, they have at least one or two Spider-Man titles a week now, depending on, on just various things. There's all kinds of one-shots, Amazing Spider-Man's back. Basically, they're wanting your money, and sadly they're getting mine, because I like Spider-Man, and I can't control myself. And I know a lot of you guys can't either, so don't judge me. <laughs> we have Dexter down under number four back on topic. Um, Twilight Zone number five. All New Invaders number five. I really like this one as well. 
we have serenity number five. Justice League Dark, number 31, and you will notice there is no Forever Evil title up here because it is no longer part of Forever Evil. It's, Forever Evil is pretty much done and dead, but as soon as I say that, I'm going to backtrack it in a couple books. So we're going to say that for right now it's dead, but we'll see what happens. We have Future's End, number four. And then on this one, Suicide Squad, number 30, but you'll notice this familiar banner top. Forever Evil is not dead in Suicide Squad yet, so we'll see what happens with that. We have Injustice Gods Among Us Year 2, number 5. Basically, it's going to be a lantern war, I can predict. The cover tells it, last issue sort of set up for it, so I'm excited to read this, but I will say I still kind of like Year 1 better than Year 2 so far, but it's not over. So maybe I'll change my mind. We have Winter Soldier number four, which I really like Winter Soldier a lot. We have Inhuman number two, which I really love the cover for. I think it's amazing. We have Batman Eternal number eight. We have the final act of Zero Year in Batman number 31. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. And on the back, ironically, we have an advertisement for hair dye because that's totally what you put on the back of a comic book. That's the first time I've seen that, and I, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> we have Fantastic Four, number five. It is an extra-sized issue. So not only do we have giant-sized Spider-Man, but we have extra-sized Fantastic Four. So more comic book for all. We have Iron Patriot number three, which I really like this title also. Miss Marvel number four, which really love this title, and so does everybody. Uh, Miss Marvel is very, very popular. I think all of the books have at least gone to second or third printing. It's very hard to get. Like, this issue already is, like, sold out. So, like, if you didn't get it and your shop sold out, you're probably going to end up with a second print because it's just... It's on fire. That's all I can say. And then my top three, which you'll notice there's four books, but reasons. We have Larflees number 11, which I really thought the last issue of Larflees was the last one. I think I told somebody that even, and I apologize. Obviously, it's not. Um, the next issue, I am very much sure, is the last issue of Larflees. So... My little orange lantern, who is obsessed with everything that is everything, is leaving his own series, but he'll still be around, I'm sure, and I hope so, because I love Lord Fleas. He's my favorite, so. DC, you're just failing. Lord Fleas, Phantom Stranger, just all of these titles that everyone loves, and you're just taking them all away from us. It's not acceptable. We have the third original Sentine of the week, Deadpool number 29. So this is the regular cover, which I like this cover. And then this is a variant cover, which I like this one even more. Totally has the watcher up there. And because he was in Deadpool Kills Deadpool, I can't help but think of Pandapool whenever I look at this cover, which we kind of talked about on the last panel to panel, my, my thoughts of the watcher with Pandapool. So I don't know. This is the this is my favorite variant that I have this week, so it's in the top two. And then my number one pick, um, the Chu Revival crossover that I have been waiting for for so long, um, is happening. So I'm not really sure. This, time, this cover totally looks like it's coming from Wisconsin, but from what I understand, it's taking place in New York, so we're going to see what happens. And it's a flip cover, so this is side number two. So I'm really excited to, to read this. I'm excited to see all of the things and what Chu has to eat and what happened. I, I just, I'm excited so much. And we have on this side, it is the people from Chu. On this side, we have Tim Seeley and Mike Norton and all of my favorite revival people. So it's, it's totally an ultimate collaboration. I love when comics collaborate. I just, I love things. So I'm so excited for this book. It is worth 
every penny of its $4.99 price tag. I would have paid. This book was $10. I still would have bought it because I've been looking forward to it for so long. So those are all the books I got. The only thing I didn't come home with that I was supposed to was Legends of Oz, Wicked West number 18 because my shop failed at ordering. But it's okay. I forgive them. Things happen. So that's all the books that I got. So moving on. I have cupcakes, because when do I not have cupcakes, besides whenever I have brownies. I always have some sort of baked goods. That's the end of it. Um, the littlest one this week is going to go to my comic book store, because even though they didn't order me one of my books, and sometimes things happen and, and whatnot, I still love them. And they, uh, they started giving me, like, because I'm in there so often and buy things all the time, I totally get, like, a little bit of a, a weekly discount now. So, like... 10% and you've seen my poll so that that's gonna help me and my wallet and all of that so greatly appreciate them and I will probably actually bring that cupcake to the store tomorrow because the old lady that works there she loves cupcakes and I know this so yeah she's gonna get a chocolate cupcake she's gonna love it it's gonna be awesome um the second biggest cupcake um is going to go to this guy I know whose name is Todd Emko because me and him totally pulled off this like awesome plan on last Friday's panel to panel and we had been planning it for like a month and totally came together and it was awesome and I'm not gonna like say what it was but I will have um, in the information below the link to the video if you want to go to I think it's like five or six minutes in you see me talking and then stuff happens so we surprised everybody it was an awesome thing and I totally love that we did it the way that we did it so excited so yes he gets he gets my second biggest cupcake and I wish he was here to eat it but he's not so maybe I'll still just feed it to the old lady at the comic book store and I'm sure that she will love it just as much <laughs> and then my biggest cupcake this week is gonna go to Chew Revival because if it didn't I think people would think that there's something wrong with me Norton was named after Mike Norton who is the illustrator on Revival I love Chew so much. If cupcakes were like able to be eaten by chickens, totally give Pollo a cupcake and it would be awesome because I love Chew. I love I just I love it. It's I couldn't think of like a better collaboration book in my mind right now than this book. So, yeah. I'm just going to stop talking about it cuz I don't need to go on anymore. So, that's all I have for this week. Um I will see you guys next week and maybe sometimes before that with other videos. So check out Panel to Panel this Friday. I think we have a guest, but I don't remember exactly which one it is. But there will be a guest, so I'll put that on Twitter and stuff, and then you guys can check it out. So it'll be an awesome time. So I will see you guys next week. Bye!